I recently acquired a Notifier AMG1. Let's get it up and running. So yeah, I bought a Notifier AMG. I got it for 150 bucks. It came on a CHS 4L chassis, and it also came with the wiring harness. Here's the circuit board for the AMG. I took off the cover right there. The local speaker actually connects to the back. And then the microphone plugs in right there. So yeah, this is the board you have. That's probably your microprocessor. Looks like the firmware chip, the VROM. You can put a secondary VROM here, as well as two VRAMs here. This is the all call button. This is the local speaker volume adjust. Then you have a bunch of pin headers up here and over here and some terminal blocks as well. This is the terminal block for serial. This is for audio, which goes to an AA30 or another type of amplifier. So before making this video, I actually did test it back when I originally got it. And in today's video, I will be showing how I did that. I was pretty lucky that it came with the wiring harness because if it didn't, I wouldn't be able to use it. And I'm also pretty lucky that there's markings on the board. You can see common, 24 volts, and five volts. So I know the exact pin out of this connector, except for pin number six. I have a theory that that could be a NAC input and I'll explain why later. Now getting 24 volts isn't a problem because I have the non-resettable 24 volts right here, but I don't have five volts. That's where this Arduino comes in handy because I can just plug into my laptop and get five volts from this wire. This isn't my main laptop. I just use it to program this panel because the programming software is so old it needs to run on an ancient OS. So I'm running Windows 2000 and it works good. Now you may think that I'm crazy for thinking that this could work on a panel that doesn't support it. Well, the reason why I thought it could work is because it has RS-485. So does that panel. And the AFP200 uses a lot of the same devices that the AFP400 can use over RS-485. And also these AMGs pretend to be enunciators when they communicate. So I'm not entirely crazy for thinking that it could work, but it did work. Okay, so these are my wiring connections. Yellow is five volts, red is 24 volts, black and orange are ground. Now it's time to plug it in. I put the cover back in place so I could plug in the microphone and use the local speaker. If I turn it up, you'll hear the supervision tone. And I can say something like, Attention, this is the Notifier AMG1. I am talking. And yeah, that's about it. So it does work. But now let's get it to communicate with the panel. Now, in order to get the AMG to actually work, we need to enable the serial bus. So I'm gonna tell the panel that it has one enunciator, ACS address one. So now, I don't even care. So now the panel has the serial bus enabled it says enunciator one, no answer, because this is not set to address one. I don't know what address it is, but you can see it is communicating because it says online. So I'm gonna pull the NACs because I don't wanna set off those. And now I can set this off. Now, the reason why I can't silence this is because it doesn't know that the system is in silence mode. It just knows that there's an alarm condition. And that's kind of how these work. 
on the AFP 300 and 400, what it does is it scans to see if there's an alarm or not, and if NAC1 is turned on. Now this panel can't transmit NAC status over serial. So that's why I think this extra wire, I can't tell which one's which, but that's why I think that unmarked pin is a NAC input because on the 300 and 400, the NACs are on the power supply. So it could either be five volts or it could be 24 volts. I don't really know and I don't wanna risk anything because I don't wanna blow this up because it's expensive and I would also be kind of sad. But that's why I think it can't properly silence because it doesn't have an act input. Just a guess. That's also why half the tones aren't available, but we can mess around with those by just changing the dip switches. So I think this one just loops the message over and over again. I don't know what switch combos do what tones. I'm basically just restarting the message by pressing the button. attention please may I have your attention please this alarm is a false alarm please disregard any signals there is no emergency in the building I don't know something like that it does know when I reset the panel though so I can just and now it's back to normal So realistically, if I was to install this, to silence it, I would just have control modules to cut off the speaker circuit whenever I press the silence button. So I could get it installed, but I'd be spending a ton of money if I did. And honestly, I just don't think it's worth it. But this was a cool and fun project, and I just wanted to show you that it can work on this. At some point, I'm gonna see if I can get it to work on the 9200. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.